Okay, it just happens to be Saturday afternoon, December 14th, 2013, which is winding down. Winding down, not to be confused with whining, like the uh, Republican Congress, but winding down, coming to a close. Years gone by already, just like I say every year. <laughs> Welcome everyone, welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna, and I will formally pipe aboard my illustrious co-host and mentor, and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. All right, I will formally pipe him aboard with, oh, with my authentic bosun's whistle that I procured a long time ago. I think it was in the early, it might have been in the late 80s or the early 90s in the one and only Newport, Rhode Island, mm -hmm. the Ocean State. Welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Make it so. What? Make it so. Okay. You gotta speak above this friggin' furnace. It's one of them uh, furnaces that, one of those Econo furnaces that runs on kerosene, is it? What is Blended it? Blended oil. What kind of oil? Blended oil in the window tile. Blended oil? That's correct. Is this a, um, a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, a naturally blended or is it a petroleum based blend? Well, all oil is petroleum based. Well, not oil from, uh, uh from, uh, from a whale? No, yes. We don't use that stuff a, anymore. A sperm whale. Spermaceti? No, I figure it was like. Um, oh, that's a Yeti. Like the oil that the, that company that um, <coughs> Willie Nelson runs. They take uh, biofuel. Biofuel. They take that old crap um, from, the, oil. from the fast food industry. All that, all the uh, French fry oil. Toxic, yeah, a dirty soybean oil, and they filter the. Uh, they they remove the glycerin, and then you can use it in uh, diesel engines, I think. Yep. Not in regular gas engines. <laughs> well, anyway, we're coming to you from the uh, Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey, and um, uh, we're on the web, Mega Life 21. That's right, Mega Life 21, and Newsletter Censored has seen on the web. Just merely Google one or both of those words, and uh, you'll see everything we've done. Maybe you should Bing it instead of Googling. Google tracks you, uh, picks up on you, thrusts advertisements at you every single minute. Yeah, Google... You get scroogled on Google. You get scroogled on Google. Yeah. Q. Those are the levity bells. Okay. Mm. Um, I only have two topics in my intro monologue. Uh, the first one, I'll do the short one first. The FDA, it's Federal F Food and Drug Administration, um, approved, the FDA approved adhesive found on produce stickers to make them stick to the produce was found to be very toxic. Ah. They found many dangerously toxic ingredients in these stickers, and just like a transdermal patch works on a human, the same thing is happening with our produce. And it's an FDA approved toxic adhesive on our produce stickers. How about that? How about them apples? No pun intended. You like apples? Well, how about them apples? Uh, uh, the stickers on. 
again, the stickers. So, you know, when somebody says to me, uh, well, the FDA said this and the FDA said that, or if they say, uh, uh, like I had a, a difference of opinion with the Swanson Vitamin Company, they have USDA certified organic products. Now, do I trust the USDA for, for certifying an organic product? Hell no. It's government. <clears throat> I, I suggested that they find a, an independent, um, respectful, respectable organization in California where the product is harvested for uh, certifying it organic. Well, they'll never do that because, and you know what, we, you shouldn't refer to our government every time when you when you come up with these bad things and everything. It's not our government. Well, they're paid off. It's the corporatists. But they paid off the people who work for the... It's the corporatists. Well, Whether they're in government, private industry, <clears throat> medicine, wherever. Right. So they are not part of the government per se. Right. <coughs> they oh. have a job working for a segment of the government, but they are not of the government because they are corporate. Right. So everything <coughs> they do is in line with the corporations and the wealthy, well, not the little guy. They're, they're very easily uh, bought off. Don't have to be bought off. It's a mindset. It's an ideology that has captured us since the uh, 70s with Friedmanitanism. Well, what do what is their training when it comes to certification of organic foods? Is, is it minimal? It USDA? doesn't involve training. You may have your training, but you're a corporatist. All right, now your I, ideology pushes you in a do another direction. Yeah, like... Uh, Not for the public. Like siding with Monsanto? That's correct. But, That's correct. But I don't. I just don't feel confident in a in a USDA certified organic. That's correct. Food product, because they are not part of the government, and they are not set. They are not set up as the USDA was set up once to protect the public. They don't do those jobs plus, anymore. Plus, I don't think they have the knowledge that an organization that is involved with holistic health. Who cert accurately certifies? Of course, that kind foods. of person is supposed to be in government, but they're not. Elizabeth Warren was supposed to be the the, the consumer protection uh, director or whatever. She's never going to get a, 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 a okayed by the Republicans and the, the Democrat corporatists. Gee, I never. wonder. I wonder. I wonder how and why all these former Monsanto employees <laughs> got high positions, there got hired go. in government. How about the ones from Wall Street? Geithner, Rubin, Lawrence, uh, the whole bunch are in the Obama administration. The, uh, or were. The, the former uh, governor and Democrat, no less, of New Jersey, uh, John Corzine. Was, Corzini. Corzini was a former. Um, Wall. I mean, no. Goldman, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. I was going to say Wall Streeter. Corzini. Yeah. They're all. That's the problem with government. Oh, man. We don't have Ralph Nader's in these positions. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great man, too. That's the problem. Or a um, um, <clears throat> a Jerry Brown of California, Moonbeam Brown. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I was reading an, a fascinating article by a Japanese scientist at the hemp plant. Hempy. Has a tendency to absorb radioactive material radiation like a sponge and and Ooh. sort of neutralizing it as, as a, Fukushima needs that eh? yeah well that's what he was referring to yeah. that they should be planting a lot of hemp in that region because it is it does it is a, a radioactive sponge yeah. natural sponge and uh, that's great news and of course Jerry Brown uh, made uh, industrial hemp legal which is a very smart thing to do yeah. a very progressive intelligent thing to do yeah um that okay might create some jobs even yeah you well the, the green movement uh will create jobs i mean uh, uh had a green uh, william morrill was telling me we were discussing the other day that there is a a a buoy you know a, 
uh, the, the device that floats in the yeah, ocean. In the it's, ocean a, it's, it's a hydro, energy. Yeah. it's a hydroelectric buoy that as it goes up and down in, in the rough surf, mm -hmm. in the choppy water, it produces electricity. We have plenty of choppy water out there. We sure do. You know, and, uh, and there's more than we enough have plenty of that ocean. stuff, but it will not be invested in because the oil companies will prevent it. Just like the oil companies and the, the car companies have prevented, you know, higher uh, gasoline mileage cars for what, 35, 40 years? And they prevent it. Well, we all know they took the bugs out of the electric vehicle decades ago. Of course. But they prevent it by uh, saying, uh, hey, uh, we gave you the money for your campaign contributions. Or, uh, you know, it's funny how nobody says no to the lobbyists. They have, they, were they spineless? Alec, the lobbyists, they walk in, they shake the hand of the uh, politician, they hand him some money, and he puts their laws into effect. Palm greasing. Now, how the hell does the regular person get that kind of uh, greeting? They don't. They don't. That's why it's not our government. Why does a regular person anymore? believe just what they hear on Fox News and, and vote for people that are gonna that want to cut their throat ideology and people like myself Reverend Dr. Bill uh, 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 Gary no whatever people like this are smart enough not to believe the uh, conservative lies and not to vote for the the forces of evil the enemy We're why smart are there so many phony Christians who carry around this Bible, but obviously never read it. They never look at the, it these, because they don't have what's in it. These are the same Christians that go, that go through the motions of getting all dressed up on a Sunday morning and going to church, and they don't they don't know a damn thing about what it means to be a Christian or what's in the Bible. And they don't believe it. No. They oh. believe their traditions, they believe their lies that they've grown up with, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, Megyn Kelly on Fox News was the other day complaining that Santa Claus is a white man and, 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 and because some black woman uh, said, well, why can't they have like a Santa Claus for black people or something? Santa Claus is a white man. You know, I noticed on on Fox Santa News. Santa Claus is fiction. It's fiction, yeah. <laughs> it, it's all design, including all these Christmas carols and Christmas movies, and and nauseating, sentimental, family-oriented commercials. It's all designed to get you to part with your money <laughs> for the retail industry. You ever notice all the women that work on Fox News have a very waspish look? They're all blonde and very light-skinned. Of course. I don't, I don't remember seeing any brunette working, uh, you know, on Fox. Uh, Is there any? I think they have a couple of token blacks. You mean Uncle Tom's? Yeah. That suck up They got a couple of Uncle Tom blacks and Uncle uh, Cheryl's Who's, blacks. What's that? What's Uncle Cheryl? The women. Oh. <laughs> you mean Aunt Cheryl. Or Aunt, Aunt Cheryl, yeah. Yeah, or on on Tommy, who the hell knows? Anyway, they got the, you know they got this crap shit going on all the time. I heard Rush Rush Limbaugh. Christmas. They got nothing to do with the Christ yes. child. Speaking up, speaking of Christmas, and the uh, the misinformation that everyone is receiving or has received for from their whole life, the Christmas lie is officially uh, the Chris the modified. New Christmas lie is on the internet. Just go to your browser and type in Megalife 21, comma, the Christmas lie, and you will hear the Christmas lie by the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, and you will learn the truth about Christmas, just like uh, when he did the, the Easter lie, right? Something like that. Or Jesus was not born, born on... No, Jesus did not die on Good Friday. J Jesus did not die on Good Friday. Yeah. So, uh, or, you know, of course, Je Jesus was not born in December either. Correct. So, uh, listen to it. Learn something. Yeah. Uh, Pay it, attention. It's, it's, um, 
Don't when you, carry the Bible around and thump it and everything. Open them pages. When you see it and listen to it, uh, it is done in a very high-tech uh, 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 slideshow. Me. It's very appealing to the eye. It's a very high-tech slideshow. Anyway, yeah, next well, subject. Next subject next before this friggin' furnace It'll starts. It'll be on in a moment, dear. United Health Group as well as other health insurance companies are not only hold on thank you all right i'll say it again united health group as well as other health insurance companies are not only dropping insurance plans but they are dropping thousands of doctors from the network which will leave many of the elderly unsure if they need to switch plans in my opinion, this is corporate plan sabotage of Obamacare since insurance companies cannot screw people over like they used to anymore. Ah. They are dropping thousands and thousands of doctors from the network. So, so to me, this is spite. It's greed! Yeah, it's, it's, it, they're, they're trying to... They're not. They're not going to just sit back and accept what what is fair and honest in life. These companies. They're going to retaliate. That's correct. And this is how they're doing it. And they have the power to do so. Well, they have the power because we, the people, allow it. Allow them to have the power. That's correct. We stood back and allow them to take over our government. Yeah, okay. right, absolutely. It wouldn't have done any of this back in the 1930s. No, the, the, ta the, rich, the taxes on the rich, there was, it was a much higher tax rate. That's correct, and it was also a feeling within America for the little guy, for the union, for community, for all of this stuff that is anti-corporate. What'd you say? Anti-corporate. What the fuck did you just say? You, you look. You sound like Daffy Duck. Now talk, talk, talk. Anti-corporate. That's better. Oh my god. Oh man. My oh, god. Manudge. So my grandmother used to say in Italian. I gotta look up that word, manudge. Oh, manudge. Manudge. Um. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, so uh, now let us, uh, let me see, uh, Chris Christie up to no good lately? I'm sure he is. I can't believe this. You see something? He wants to go out. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, gotta be Who's kidding me. Who's that? Oh, what a pain in the ass. It's fr this in. friggin' cat, why does the cat have to get it give its way? Uh, otherwise it will shit or piss in the house. Now I gotta fix them. The damn fucking flags. We're fixing the flags, folks. Now, you know, it interferes with the overall ambiance and, uh, and atmosphere of the show, you know? Well, that's when you have, uh, you know, problem when you have mouses around. But does the cat, you think the cat needs to go? So to speak? Otherwise, why would she go out? To, 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 to bust my balls? She's in a nice warm house. She's fed. Why would she go out in the cold? Because it's cold and there's snow out there. Well, and she's why warm. did people go out in the cold in the old days to the outhouse to take a crap? Because they had no place to crap oh, in the house. Oh, see? There's your answer. People had a rough back then. They certainly did. Can you imagine fun. sitting out in... in, in 19 degree weather. Yeah, what's next? The, the other cat wanting to go out now? Taking a crap? All right, listen. Sorry we were interrupted. Let us sink our teeth into these readings. Unbelievable. There's always something. That's what Bill Morrow always tells me. As soon as you think you're ahead in, in our system, there's always something that comes along and brings you down. Uh -huh. It's like his friend that won the lottery. Lo and behold, his car broke down and he had to spend it all on the mechanic. 
it comes easy come he didn't even he, he didn't even enjoy the winnings you know he wanted to take his wife out yeah. have to a nice dinner and spend some of that money but now it went to the mechanics that's it at least that's a lesson that's a life lesson remember when you give money to someone else it makes them rich you understand? Well, it? yeah. So if you give money to Walmart, you're making them richer. But there's a problem there with, uh, the problem is people often can't afford to shop anywhere else but a Walmart they or, have made it that or a Kmart. I know, but they, they have made it's, it that It's way. a range, so you, you're, you're, you're next to being broke and, 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 and Employers do not but, pay. Employers do not pay much money in the United States as a what, salary. But what if? The, and the cost of living is astronomically high, so people have no choice but, but to go to what Walmart. If the suppliers told Walmart, "No, we don't want to accept your price." Well, so they, they wouldn't get their products in the Walmart store. What would that do to Walmart? Put them the hell out of business. Well, any bo what. any boycotting which Americans that's do. not boycotting. That's from the supply side. The well, suppliers they are beaten into the ground to accept Walmart's prices. We're only going to pay so much for your product. Yeah. And the suppliers say, okay. You mean that they shrivel up? They fold like cheap cameras? Because they want the volume of their product in the Walmart store. They want to be seen. That's correct. Because they know Walmart uh, gets receives the traffic of America. That's Amer correct. Would you let me talk? That's correct. Walmart, I tell you, between him and Billy Morrow, Walmart is receiving pretty much the traffic of America because of its popularity. It's all, it's all over, it's everywhere. It's not popularity, it's what you just said. They're offering the low price. Well, they're still popular. Well, that's not popular. Is popular means that the person likes it. Well, you see lots. They of don't like Walmart. They have to go to Walmart. They, they, uh, yeah, and they end up if they're if you're living in the in the boonies in the rural area, the only job around is at your local Walmart. Correct. So their whole life becomes Walmart. Correct. But they, they they have the money to spend on advertising, which puts makes Walmart a household uh, word, but also they just simply can't afford to shop anywhere else. Walmart has the money to advertise, to do anything they want, to give $25 billion to their six heirs or what the hell ever, but they don't have the money to pay good wages. Yeah, nobody. God forbid they should pay good wages. Same thing with um, the CEO of McDonald's. I mean, he's so reluctant to pay people, a, a, give people a pay raise, and, and they're so anti-minimum wage, which is still not enough money, and, and so reluctant to pay people more per hour, but he sure is sucking up most of the profits of McDonald's. It's just what I said before. When you give money to someone else, you make them rich. You take from yeah. you yeah, and make them rich. There's a lot of people. So if McDonald's doesn't want to give anything from its profits to its workers and make them richer. What about the service they provide? I, I think it's worth Who cares? A, I think it's worth a, well, these are individuals. They're not slave-owned. From the corporate point of view, who cares? They are mere cogs in the wheel of industry until, and can be replaced. Until, until a, a, a strong retail and office worker and fast food unions develop. We don't have unions anymore. They can. They are basically outlawed. They can. They can you can't stop people from forming yes, a, you can. An organ, a labor organization. And they've been doing it. What about people's, what about people, uh, people's rights? Going on, what about people's going rights. on strike? Hey, I'm, I used to be a teamster. We went on strike. 
What Would happened? you go on strike if you had to? What happened? Uh, the contract was settled more in our favor. Really? Jeez. More in our favor. That's why you ain't got pensions anymore. That's why you ain't got health care anymore. And the scabs. That's why you ain't got high wages anymore. And the scabs. Because all these contracts went into effect? And, it, no, and, and the scabs, they sucked in, at, at job performance. I heard many times. Job performance is, has nothing to do with any of it. I just say. What, why do you give so worker, much power to the corporation? Because they have it. They, they don't have power over me. Really? When you're working for them, they do. Yeah, it's supposed to be a democracy, but not when you're working for How a company. How can it be a democracy when the, 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 the Joe Sixpack and Mary uh, Vodka ain't involved? Listen, people don't even want to get involved at, at town hall meetings in, with politics. The, the conservatives do. And they don't vote. Yeah, a lot of liberals stay home and don't even vote. Listen, Listen, I still say the magic word is boycott. Boycott and boycott, which Americans don't do not do. You you can't boycott. Let's let's say boycotts work. Let's imagine this for a moment. That boycotts work. And certain people boycotted a certain corporation, and the corporation died because the court the boycott was successful. What are you gonna replace it with? How the hell do I know? Well, there you go. But but what, what's the answer? Be a victim of them? The answer is we gave too much power to the private sector. Yeah, by D. To provide our jobs, etc. Well, the biggest culprit. The, the biggest, answer is to change the system. The bad thing that happened was they um, uh, they they started. Uh, I guess Reagan started a deregulating companies. It goes back to the 70s, under Mr. Carter and Mr. Gerald Ford, the deregulation. Carter deregulated the airlines, telecommunication, this, that, Oh, really? Then he's a corporatist Democrat. They were all corporatists. So the two-party system is the, is the problem. The problem is corporatists. People who do for the corporations oh, rather God. than the people. Because the, cause the money is still in politics. There's the money! Because if you don't have your campaign contributions from the fat cats, you're not known by the American public, you don't get on the ballot, and you don't stand the chance of winning because the idiots I mean, in America only believe what they see on primetime TV, which lies to you. Bingo. Which lies to you. Mainstream media. They never get to know any of the independents because yeah. they don't get FaceTime, the independents. Yeah. Yeah. But there has to be... Change the system. There has to be an answer because we outnumber the elitists. Well, the Bible has an answer. By a substantial margin. The Bible has an answer. Jesus is going to come change everything and rule with a rod now, of iron. I, I got it, I got it, that sounds great, but I have another great idea. What about, what about all the people that are hurting grow a spine and stop being so damn passive and lazy and get involved? Jeez, that might go somewhere. Like what about the massive uh, Occupy protesting that went on worldwide and the United States media never televised it? And I'm talking about and guess how it all went Hundreds wrong? Hundreds of thousands of angry people. Yeah. And guess how it all went wrong? In Egypt and etc. What was put in power? The radical Islamists. Not democracy. Well, even Europe had their violent protests. Like Greece, you know, Athens, yeah. you know. And what happened? We stopped hearing about it. Stopped hearing about it because you know they they, they got to pay the banks back. I mean, I never I never That's really heard it on the American uh, news programs, but I did uh, see and read about it online yeah. on the internet, which is where I get real, true, deep down news. You know, online. Well, if you want real, true news, you, you actually got to get it from another country. You're not going to get it from the United States of America. No. Bastion of freedom! Yeah, bastion of my ass.
Uh, the American dream is only experienced by the wealthy, just like they want to privatize education. So only rich kids will get a good education. And uh, as it once was. And you know they they bitch and moan about Obamacare that 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 it's not freedom, healthcare freedom. Well, I got news for you. A lot of poor people have m much more coverage now than they did before Obamacare. Yeah. Even how bad it is, because it was not a universal single payer plan. That's what it should have been. Which, which period? It, which would have been perfect. A That's mo correct. A brand new modified form of Medicare, public option, uh, that are for low income people only. And, you know, for people, everyone. People Why that, a low income? Well, Medicare the, is only for people over sixty five. Okay, the rich so you want to cover can the rest afford of the United to pay for their own health care. Yes, Why do can. they need a, a public option uh, well, for health care? Why do Why do Congress people uh, need us to pay for their health care? They don't. They can afford to pay for their own. Oh well, the one guy was complaining the other day. His is going up by four hundred dollars. They're getting a hundred and seventy-five grand a year average, not counting perks. How many days are going to work this year? A few days a week. Uh, no, a few days a month. I think 139. This year? Yeah. Yeah. You mean I you mean actual work or just repealing? No, and no not actual work. But I'm saying obstructing going uh, there. Obstructionism. Yeah. You know, showing up. Showing That's up it. at the Capitol. Showing building. up so they can have the croissants and coffee in the morning, and go to the big restaurant outside for lunch. You well, know they, I mean? well, they do say showing up. Sh actually showing up is more than fifty percent of the uh, <laughs> of the battle. I mean, <coughs> people to show up. Anyway, can, let's start. The Arctic region experienced lower temperatures this year, that led to reductions in greening and the amount of ice that melted. A change from a decade of record-breaking warmth. An annual government report on the region said. The annual Arctic report card, which pulls together the findings of 47 scientists, presented a mixed picture. As much of the Arctic was cooler this past summer than the previous six summers. But the long-term trend continues to show a reduction in ice and snow cover across Earth's northernmost region. The Arctic caught a bit of a break in 2013 from the recent string of record-breaking warmth and ice melt of the last decade. Well, how come, how come Rob Cheeky told me that uh, the ice sheet is growing really fast right now? He might have been lying. Maybe his information came from a lousy source. Well, he, 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 he gets a lot of info from uh, conspiracy theory oriented organizations which tend to be very libertarian and which, exaggerating, which tend to be a little too much on the right side of things. Because a libertarian is for business. And why? He will allow you social freedom but he will always kiss the ass of the corporations. Why on earth is Jesse Ventura and Howard Stern running on the uh, as libertarians in 2016? Because that's how they get on the ballot. Is beyond me. In other words, it's like the same reason why, um, what's his name, Ron Paul? Ron Paul? No, who, who the fuck? No, the guy, the libertarian that Ron Paul. It's Ron Paul. He ran as a libert. He's a libertarian, but he 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 went on the um, Republican Republican ticket. Yeah. When he when he was campaigning. Yeah. yeah. Because the the the, the getting on a ballot, you have to have. If you're an independent, you have to have go out and get uh, so many signatures to get on the ballot. So it's easier. So, but the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. And the Greens now, because of the Grandpa Al, etc., they automatically get onto the ballot. 
Yeah, like okay. uh, Ralph Nader always just seems to run on the, on the Green Party Green ticket. Green Party, yeah. Um, um, when Jesse Ventura. Uh, well, when he ran in Minnesota, he was an independent. No, when he, yeah, when he ran in Minnesota for governor of Minnesota, which he won, of course, on, on a relatively low budget, uh, he ran uh, as, a, as a Reform Party member. The Reform Party was Ross Perot. Yes. Ross Perot is back in the... In That's the, the first time I heard the word Reform Party. I believe he started it. Somebody, somebody has to start it sometime. So what you're saying is, if you just go as a as a straight independent, and you don't jump on uh, popular uh, political groups, if you don't run with them, there's a good chance the you can't public get on the ballot. You can't even get on the ballot. For instance, running for governor in New Jersey, you need 800 signatures to get on the ballot. Now, when I ran in 84, I believe it was, we never got the 800 signatures. <coughs> and one big reason why is because if you go knocking on door to door to get the signatures, oh, I'm not going to sign that. I'm a Republican. Oh, I'm not going to sign that. I'm a Democrat. They, you can't get the gold dang signatures. I'm the only person I know of that registered as an independent. Everybody feels that they have to register as a Republican or, or a Democrat. Otherwise, they can't vote in primaries. That's true. You, you, can't, you can't vote in the primaries as an independent, which, which is how they sucker you into joining the two-party system. Correct. And uh, there were plenty of independents on, on the ballot when Chris Christie um, ran for re-election. I saw a whole bunch of them, bunch of them like yeah. to, the, to the right. Mm -hmm. Like a, at least a half a dozen, give or take. Right. But, Did anybody uh, know anything about them? No, I, no. I never heard of these people. Exactly. So you're going to vote for them? If I know nothing about them, no, I'm not going to vote for them. There you go. Them. It'll be a waste to vote. That's correct. So. And that's what we have. You know, okay. they, they never get airtime. They, they never get invited mm -hmm. to any debates. That's the system we have. So you don't get to know these people. That's right. Yeah. Another system has to be changed. Yeah. Well, getting back to this uh, but climate change issue. Uh, the relatively cool year in some parts of the Arctic does little to offset the long-term trend of the last 30 years. The Arctic is warming rapidly. Record carbon emissions have lifted the Earth's temperature about 0 0.8 degrees Celsius, 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit, since the Industrial Revolution. And the planet is on a path to exceed the United Nations endorsed maximum of 2 degrees Celsius of warming by 2100. Most scientists predict that those trends mean that the planet will experience more extreme weather, including frequent droughts and stronger storms. Many of the most immediate impacts are in the Arctic, where ice cover is receding sea temperatures are seven degrees Fahrenheit greater than the long-term average and the tundra growing season is increasing by nine days a decade according to the report yeah I mean I was watching a documentary that uh, said that if um, climate change, if global warming continues, uh, all those huge Burmese pythons in Florida who will migrate all the way up to the northeast. <coughs> and uh, I, I thought that bad frost they had one year killed them off, but apparently not. Look at California. California's got ice, cold, and snow. 
right now. Actually, some a whole bunch of states are covered with uh, snow right now, ice, storm. You know? I can't hear you, man. I can hear me. Speak up. You gotta talk above, the microphone above, can hear above me. your stupid. I'm close to the neck. Friggin' furnace. You know? Alright, continue. You can't hear because you're by the furnace. But the microphone can hear. And who do we care about? Microphone. You were the microphone. Well, without me, then it'll just be you talking. Well, the microphone will hear me. Thank you very That's much. That's true. Continue. The suspension of a six-year-old boy for kissing a girl at school I... is raising questions. He's only a six-year-old child, for God's sakes. He's already a pervert. He's a, he's a, a sexual predator? Yeah. For kissing yeah. a girl at, at kindergarten or first grade? Anyway, it's raising questions about whether the peck should be considered sexual harassment. A six-year-old charged with sexual harassment. That's great. Unbelievable. Uh, it's only a peck, too. Probably on a cheek or something. Uh, no, it was on a hand. And they're making a fuss about that? Didn't we used to, didn't uh, gentlemen used to kiss ladies' hands at one time? It's like the Sir Walter Raleigh. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Put down his coat. So she can walk uh, through a puddle. What, what's amazing is that the judicial system is taking this seriously. Yeah, yeah. That's what amazes me even more. Not not the uh, the whatever feminist nuts are creating this uh, sudden stir. Well, obviously, this is the school. The school. It's, that's even worse than a company frowning upon people asking co-workers out on a date and calling that harassment. This is worse. It's a six-year-old little boy. Yeah. He don't have sex on his mind at all. He's six. He's got toys on his mind. Yeah. Ah. I saw him talking on the news. He was a cute kid. Yeah. He, you know. The boy's mother said officials at Lincoln School of Science and Technology in Cannon City, in Cannon City, but it doesn't say, oh, Colorado. Colorado just had three school shootings by nuts who didn't kiss anybody's hand. Oh, they, they, they have enough time on their hands and energy to devote to this ridiculous crap. Meanwhile, there's much more important real problems yeah. to focus on. But no, they, they got problems of nuts and guns. Nuts and guns, guns and nuts. Instead they want to uh, ruffle the feathers of an innocent little six-year-old boy. Yeah. Jennifer Saunders said her son was suspended once before for kissing the girl and had other disciplinary problems. But maybe the kid's not such a nice little child after all. The brat. I always thought kissing was like a, a loving gesture. It's not necessarily sex. Friends see each other and and. What hug. about Arabs? They kiss each other. What did George Bush go around kissing the gosh darn uh, Saudi Arabian princes and and walking hand in hand? Yeah. What are they? They kiss each other on the cheek in many cultures. You know, people in the United States. But particularly women, they see friends of theirs and they, darling, they, they darling, hug and they... To darling. me it's like, to me it's all show. But you know, the, the kissing is not sexual. Uh, uh, not that kind of kissing. Not a, not a quick peck. But just a peck on the cheek. <laughs> um, where were we? Uh, she was surprised to find out that he would be forced out of school again for several days. First grader Hunter Yelton said he has a crush on a girl at school. This happens with children. It's, it, it, when I was six years old, it was 
nobody nobody thought of anything like this at all. Hey, when I was 10, 11, I was playing doctor, baby. Okay? Yeah, yeah, by 12, they were, they were you know, I heard stories with some 12-year-olds. No speculum. 12-year-olds were uh, in, uh, experimenting, <laughs> going all the way, you know? I mean, uh, this is just a kiss on the hand. The little boy is only six years old. Give me a break. It was during class, yeah. We were doing reading group. And I leaned over and kissed her on the hand. That's what happened, he said. Did the little girl freak out about it? So far, we haven't had anything about the little girl. Yeah. Superintendent Robin Gouldy said Tuesday the boy was suspended because of a policy against unwanted touching. Unwanted means the other person says no or pulls away. Yeah, we don't know what she said. Well, we don't know. Or what she wants. Maybe she has a crush on the boy too. Well then, we don't know. then uh, Mr. Gouldy is, is, is out of his mind. <laughs> we usually try to get the student to stop. But if it continues, we need to take action. And it sometimes rises to the level of suspension, he said. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The level of suspension for a kiss on a hand. That's it doesn't say anything about what the little girl... Her wishes? No. Her wishes, how she feels about the matter. Well, you know, actually, actually, in sex, we don't give a damn about the woman anyway. Not a lot of men are selfish. Many men are selfish. You know, it's a two-way street. It's a, you know, it takes two people to uh, uh, dance at a ballroom competition. Really? With a tango. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So ridiculous. To take up any... Um, I mean, I'm sure the boy's parents will bring this to court because it's unjust, unjust to put that on I don't his know, it seems to, uh, when, he was, when he was suspended the last time, I, I, it looks like they accepted it and went back to school. <clears throat> I guess. So they may do nothing. I just, I just was a, a, a talker backer, a backer talker. I talked back. I didn't take any shit when I was a kid. When, when teachers... Uh, I was the class clown. When te well, no, yeah, me too. I, you know, I brought in the whoopee. I came to school in a clown car. You, you, ever, you ever bring a whoopee cushion with you into no, class? No, not that kind of clown. Yeah, I did. I, I hit the, uh, the fart machine and uh, I, I cranked it up and I, I let her rip and the whole class was hysterical and it was a very loud farty sound and Boy. the teacher's like, where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? And James, he's got a little, uh, got a little diarrhea over there. Yeah, I mean, I let it, I, <laughs> I, let, I, I let it rip. I, I didn't say, I didn't, re I didn't remove the, the cushion, whoopee cushion until the class was dismissed, and then I, I snuck over there and removed it because I had it hidden. <laughs> Is it a she or a he? No, it was, it was, it was a she. Ah. I think, I think it was a she. Perhaps she should have taken you by the ear and slouched you over her desk and whacked your ass a few times. Actually, she wasn't. How old were you? She wasn't bad looking. I was a freshman in high freshman. school. Freshman in high school. I think it was first or second year of high school. But uh, I know I didn't. You know, I didn't come clean and confess. I oh, just yeah, kept yeah. it a mystery. Uh -huh. But it was very loud. <laughs> Over the Thanksgiving weekend, our family went to see Disney on Ice. Oh, God. You know what that's all about. That's, Not. that's to pump up the kids to, to nag their parents to buy them lots of Christmas presents. Not really a holiday show, but rather an all-encompassing parade of Disney characters. Yeah, sure. 
the final act includes Santa Goofy. Don't tell me this is the actual reading. Coming out onto the ice yelling, Ho, ho, ho! Happy Holidays! Why he would select a Disney performance on ice for progressive discussions is beyond me. You always miss the big picture. We're supposed to be deep, serious You'll show. You always miss the big picture. I don't get it. I frankly, then I don't get it. Then why don't you wait until the reading is over? All right, go ahead. Now, as long as I can remember, Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, Kris Kringle, and Father Christmas have been symbols of Christmas. Christmas for Christians around the world is primarily meant to be a time to honor and commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. Whenever that was. It was not December 24th or 25th. Was it? Not to give and get presents or to throw an office party. Santa Claus represents Christmas not any other holiday. I found it offensive that Santa Claus would come out and say, ho, 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 happy holidays. I find it annoying. If they, they want him to say Merry Christmas, yeah, don't you, you get the fight that's going on you, with Fox News and etc. The they, people who say holiday, happy holidays, don't want to mention Merry Christmas. Because because happy holidays is supposed to be neutral, all, all inclusive. Yeah. It's supposed to could include Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Kwanzaa, yeah. uh, Christmas as well, and uh, the yeah. other holiday, the Latin Americans like the the the, the three kings. Day. Three kingies. That's in January. Yeah, that's after New Year's Day. If this event wasn't bad enough, my family also went to Turtleback Zoo down in West Orange, New I know, Jersey. I know, I donated my tortoise there. For a light show. At the end, the zoo had Santa Claus taking pictures with children. The, pri the, pictures, Santa Claus. the pictures printed out, Happy Holidays. They're, yeah, they're afraid to say Christmas and Fox News. Is, uh, With no choice given for Merry Christmas. They don't want... Um, they're so... I guess this, the media is so afraid of offending any one group because I think it has to do with ratings and people, you know, sponsors. It has to do with Bill O'Reilly, who every year comes up with, uh, there's a war on Christmas. People don't want to say Merry Christmas. They don't want nativity scenes on their public property. It's a war on Christmas. Well, the taxpayers, I would say to him, taxpayers are made up of all different people. Not just uh, right-wing fundamentalists, cr counterfeit Christians, but you know, uh, and not and not just for real Christians either. You don't get anywhere with that because they want their religion to be the only one. Well, there are there are many people in the United States that will uh, disagree with him. They may disagree, but they still want their religion. Whatever it I don't is, care what they to want. To be the numero uno. Screw them. Or the only one. Screw them, Fox News. Again, if Santa Claus has been put on display, he is representing Christmas. He's representing now, what the hell commercialism does of Christmas. Santa Claus have to do with Christmas? Santa Claus is a fiction, number one, and it was, he, he came about a thousand and six hundred years later than the supposed birth of Christ. He's, he, he was, they took, they took the, the real, from the Middle Ages, I believe, the, or Renaissance period, they took the, the real Saint Nicholas and they conjured up this 
this um, fictitious, cartoonish looking character and they refined it over the years and 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 they and I the most of the popular Christmas songs were developed uh, by the major uh, retail chains I think it was Macy's or something but what does it have to do with Christmas no it has to do with making money and for the retail Great. industry thank you it has nothing to do with the birth of Christ bullying has become a hot topic Yes, I would argue that this departure from celebrating and mentioning our particular religious holy day is a form of bullying. Being bullied into changing how we refer to our holidays is disgusting and offensive. That's right. They should stick their nose out of people's business, Fox News. <laughs> really. They should leave it up to the parents to raise their kids. And uh, if they if they want to embrace their own culture, let them because it's 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 a melting pot. It's a it's a mosaic like uh, former then. former New York Mayor it's uh, a white David Dinkins used to say. Society. Okay. Well, well, I don't know if you did. Did you see that uh, George Carlton banner that really? Well, all his Mind banners, droppings? all his quotes are f absolutely Fabulous. way Fabulous. way behind. Way ahead of his time. Way ahead of his time. Uh, yeah, it had to. It had. To, uh, it had to do with uh, the people that want to control your life in the United uh. States are basically what rich white old people. Well, they had the youngies over there too. They got the Monica Crowleys. They got the Megan uh, Kellys. They got these young blonde women on Fox News. Yeah, I don't see any other uh, women there, but but waspy-looking women. Yeah. No, they just want to. It's just like a. It's like a lust for power, and, and, you know. Greed goes with it, but they just want to. They want their corporate plutocracy, fascist society to, I guess, eventually take over the world. Well, they would like that, yeah. And and they would love to bring slavery back. You know, anyway, we're going to take a break. Time for uh, Reverend Dr. Bill's lunch. <coughs> and we'll be back, uh, hopefully, with William H. Morrow III. Otherwise, uh, you know, we're not going to be doing that anymore with him. I think the past two weeks, something serious came up with that guy. Hello. Oh, Jimmy. How are you, Doctor Bill? How are you? Yes, yes, good. yes. We are here with William uh, H. Morrow. The uh, he's interrupting me already. We are here with William H. Morrow the Third. Uh, and uh, how are you doing this week, William Morrow? I've had better weeks, you know, with a month with my lawyers whatever the weather but otherwise we'll get through this fellas like always. Yeah we're not we're not the we're not getting the snow the snowfall is really not as bad as they said it was going to be. Oh my friend it's early yet yeah, it's right. later they say. Yeah. Well right. uh, I know you have yeah. some where where is your location? Are you on the road? Oh no no I can't hold with this stuff. <laughs> okay, try to speak louder because the, the furnace is going to go on any minute. Um, I know you um, have something special to say about, well, let's let's wait for this thing to kick in. Uh, and, yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay, I know you have something special to say about our newsletter. Well, I do, and it's the best way to join your organization go to www.newsletter.com you get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. We're living in end times. Everyone is seeking the newsletter censored. Okay, William H. Morrow is correct. Get your free annual subscription now where you get to support this work. com. Try to try to shout because we had the furnace is running. Uh, I am going to go over the topic that we were supposed to go over a couple weeks ago but I still have it here and it has to do William Morrow with the quote made by uh, the former IBM Thomas J. Wat Watton? Watson. 
What? Watson? Yeah. W A T S O N. W A. I'm sorry. How do you spell it? Watson. Watson. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why I heard. I heard. Okay. That's like the computer that was on Jeopardy. Watson. Yeah. Why the hell did I spell it this way then? I don't we don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it has to do with the quote, and um, you might as well tell people what his famous quote was. I know a lot of conservatives have a tendency to tell people to pull yourself up by the bootstraps and everybody makes their own success in life, but that's... Yes, that's me. You pull yourself up all you do and everywhere you go, you get worthwhile sometimes. It's a big This furnace is killing me. You wonder how many great creators, innovators, product, product developers have given up. How many products you may not be seeing. Yeah, I mean, all, also all all the successful people in history, I'm sure, got their so-called big break or breaks from others. Or they didn't get them until they were dead. They're like artists. Yeah. You meet somebody, know somebody, somebody comes through for you, another tells a guy may not meet anybody. Um, if you're still a great example, my God, you know. Look, look at the way Tesla was opposed. Nikola uh, Tesla? The Tucker Automobile. Uh, the biggest John DeLorean with a DeLorean car. Uh, No one is 100% self-made. Everybody got a break in their life. So, there's a lot of wonderful self-made people. No, I don't believe it. Some people did get a break. Some didn't. They had to fight through it. Somebody had to give them a break. There had to be a break. You think, you sin listen, since the American capitalist system is rigged, they had to get at least one big break. I, I can't believe there are 100% pure self-made people. Well, there are. There are. Yeah. There are. And it depends depending how you, you really want to divide. He, speak, he thinks too highly of our corporate system. You're getting a, your SBA loan coming through, or friends giving you, and family giving you $2,000. Those are big breaks, too. You know, but other than that, that's just me. In show business, professional sports, you definitely, you definitely have to. Professional sports, 
It's best don't always play. No, the best don't always play, you're right. Look at those showers getting out over. the other day. Uh, he just plays free agents. It was a different period back when you had to see Yankees got one. Even Mariners. Better. You know, change is not always for the better. Yeah, change is not always for the better, and uh, people, uh, the system is rigged, and, uh, and and people have to get at least one big break in life. I mean, uh, not uh, Hollywood and entertainment industry does not necessarily have the very best that the world has to offer, and. Uh, no, I know. I agree. I agree. I think the uh, I think the one thing personally to me that does not get enough credit, and I think they should have a similar reward to is supporting actors and actresses. I mean, I've seen some. I'm sure we all have. You know, you know, from the present through the past, great, great performances. Like nobody can ever you know their names. It was just great. Yeah. Not because they not those background people, you have not got a quality product to offer to you. Yeah, because of the casting couch. Politics. Well, I've got a lot of friends over in Hollywood. Political. It's, it's Cronyism, cronyism is alive and well, Bill. And I don't see any other side either. No, no. Now, I, I've, uh, we were talking, uh, we, we, uh, Reverend Bill uh, read of a couple interesting topics. One is that uh, this uh, innocent little six-year-old boy kissed a girl on her hand. Oh, that makes me sick. And they right. suspended, that, that just, that yeah. They call them. They call the sexual harassment. The teacher. Harassment. Come this, off of this, he's only six years old. Sexual harassment. A six-year-old boy harassed you. I just spanked him for two days. Where are we headed? And I think I told you this earlier this week, Jimmy, and I told a few other people too. I said, "Look, I want you all to remember this. I'm warning you right now. There's not much left." Next thing you're going to hear within the legal system is claim please, a girl claims she looked at me funny. Think about it. She looked at me funny. Yeah, that's that's you've already gone by where you can't compliment somebody for looking nice. Yeah. You know. That's a question that's of person. To me, he sent us a nice white dress. Oh, yeah, that's that's sort of like great me. I mean, still say my original like, idea was the best, I mean, to have him talk exactly. for 20 minutes and uh, it was my idea, right. your idea. You can't open your mouth anymore. Yeah. The next thing is left, the only thing left, he looks at big fun. That will be the next one. And that happened to a friend of mine, I think I, I don't know if I'm sure if I told you, Jim, uh, about a year ago. His name is Bill as well. Jogging around a track in my old town of Ringwood. Jogging around the track in Veterans Field. A mother and her little child were coming towards him on the track. The kid was laughing and jumping up and down. He was, oh, somebody's really happy today. And he kept on jogging. Minutes, you know, 10 or 15 minutes later, you know, the cops come. Uh -huh. The lady called. Complaining, oh, a strange man spoke to them. Oh, I mean, talked to him, I'm sorry. Talked to him. He could, but when he told me, he said, I can't believe it. I'm scared that I won't open my mouth anymore in the street. Mm -hmm. I get in trouble for being a nice guy. So, really, what's next? I mean, a per, a per, a, the, the subject of perception 
should not hold any weight in court because it's not proven. It's not a proven fact. It's perception. No. No, we're living Well, what? Why does our society take uh, issues like this, which are not real issues, why do they take them so seriously? I don't know. Put it back to the strangers thing real quick. Jimmy, why do you call the police? Aren't they strangers? So, yes. What's that point, too? You can't call the police, they're strangers. You told me, Mommy, don't call the strangers. Well, you just out of them. They're strangers. Yeah. So where's the hypocrisy? Paranoia. Well, that, well, that's how your uh, your fear mongers are so successful because they 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 strike fear in the public because they can do it. They know they can do it. Uh, I mean, come on, six year old child is kick kiss a girl on the hand. Six year old child of sexual harassment. He he pecked her on the hand. On the hand. Yeah. I, Dr. Bill, can anybody give me a true, exact definition? What is sexual harassment? Well, it's not a peck on the hand. I don't know what it is. I can't define it. Your definition, yours too, Dr. Bill, mine, all three might be different definitions. Well, well, my, de my definition, my definition of sexual harassment is when you mention uh, to a, a another person, whether it, the person be gay or heterosexual or whatever, you 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 uh, uh, suggest getting together uh, for a, a sexual encounter or anything that has to do with uh, with sex or passion or 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 phys f f let me let me finish physical touching and it's unwanted. The other person says no. Uh, don't talk to me like that, or no, I'm not interested in going out with you. Well, you or just said it's talking, or is it touching? You just said in the same sentence. But it's, it's unwanted. It, where does it end? Is it stalking, touching, saying something? What really exactly well, is the definition of sexual harassment? It, it becomes harassment when the other person has to say no more than once. When they have to say it. If they say no and the person backs off, and that's it. So it's along the lines of stalking, per se, or continuation. Stalking is continuously, more than once, uh, asking a person to go out with you or to have sex with you or yeah. or, or whatever. But you see how vague it is? None of us can really agree exactly what it is. Oh, well, my definition is exact. Your uh, definition is, I'm sure Dr. Bills might be the same or a little bit different. Mine might be to what is the laws or so-called legal system. Right. See how well I hear him now? Nobody could tell me that. Uh, I'd really like to know, what do you mean sexual harassment? Because yeah. I know you look nice today in that dress. You right. very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Am I, I'm, I don't even want to go out with you. I'm just saying you look really nice today. I'm giving you a simple get it compliment. Long. And now I'm a harassment? Not, I don't think so. You know, so really, this is insane. Yeah, per perception should not take up and waste court time because perception perception is not monopoly perception is not proven fact well, but what interpretation is not a proven fact either i mean yeah percept interpretation uh, based interpretation on per 
the interpretation the based on based on perception is not proven in a court of law. Right, exactly. So how is it written in the legal books? I don't know. What do the law books say about this is sexual harassment? What, you know, colon, when a person, blah, 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 blah. I don't know where that exists. And wh why are these people winning cases? Why are they taking it seriously in court? Why is, why is the law allowing it into court? Yes, that's I true. I assume... Frivolous. Some are valid, the majority are not. A frivolous... I guess they're trying to sit out which is really true and which, which isn't. And Fri I guess I just no, get to take the time. Frivolous cases should not waste court time like that like like the old lady that spilled the coffee on her lap years ago at McDonald's there's no way the temperature of a hot coffee can peel the epidermis of skin away from from anybody even a senior yeah, citizen what, what did you and I discuss this week Jim? all the different guys being let out of prison that are in there for rape when the girl recants and says I lied and can anybody nobody I know you guys can name one case where the girl has been prosecuted for number one lying which is perjury lying to the court system right filing a false police report and wasting valuable man police man hours you never hear the girl being prosecuted which all oh, I lied oh let the guy out but you can go keep going all their life oh so it's, it's her word again it's her word people. it's her word against his why do they always believe yeah. the girl when she cries rape Granted, a lot of women are raped. It's horrible. Well, well look, these women lie about it. They are really oh, abusing the system. God. They should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Well, oh, oh, okay, let us. Okay, now what about speaking of uh, incompetent judicial system? What about this rich kid that got off scot free uh, for killing four people in a, in a, a, this, is this is absolutely sick. In a drunken driving uh, incident uh, because he yeah. was drunk and and before. Four people die, but but yet again, people are doing time are behind bars for possession of drugs or and or marijuana or prostitution, but this kid uh, doesn't see the uh, the uh, the. This is a new term. His lawyer created now. He didn't see the inside. From affluent. Uh, yeah, throw this right across the room. Meaning growing up wealthy, being given everything. Affluenza, not influenza. Affluenza. Ten years of probation. This is BS. He has and four. The big punishment is ten years probation, yeah. and he can't supposedly have contact with his parents for two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's going to happen. You watch. This that's not going to happen. System. This is a total joke of the whole system. I heard this. I, I said, "You've got to be kidding me." This, is, this kid's a little punk. He's a little he punk. With four murders. He's a little punk. Four people died because of his drunk driving, and there are people. That behind bars that, that just were caught possessing a little bit of drugs. Or yeah. kited three checks. Yeah. Well, yeah. then again, I mean, not to get off the top. Three strikes and you're out. But then again, we put value on lives, In too. Texas. When a prostitute is murdered, they don't put that much work into finding the killer. You know, she's like, oh, no. who cares, blah, blah, blah. Well, well they really, they put value so, on a life. And they, then it also comes down to color. The, uh, the when you've had these things with Casey Anthony and what have you in, the, in Florida and whatever, and uh, 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 Jody Arias and whatever, can't win. nobody mentions all the hundreds of missing and murdered little children in Detroit that are black <laughs> or Hispanic. Nobody mentions their names at all. Why is that? It's like we have selective journalism. Who gets the press? The majority don't. Why is that? Here's this kid. Wealthy family, he gets, kills four people, and he gets uh, ten years probation and can't see his mom and dad for two years. Right. Big, big and deal. but but if he wasn't if he wasn't a rich kid, they throw away the key. Or if he's a black guy or Hispanic, he'd be in prison. Yes. I mean, this is unfair. We have a. I, you've heard me say this week in and week out. That lady, that little statue of the lady of the law, the justice system with those scales, it's incredibly imbalanced. Hey, we got to cover her up. Her tit is hanging out. I'm sorry, but uh, it's unfair. Our system is very unfair to the vast majority. You're right. It it's, it's just like uh, with with the uh, 
economic system. It's a system that is uh, uh, turns a blind eye away from. If, if you're rich, you get away with murder, basically. Yeah. Uh, if you're rich, you don't have yeah. to pay taxes. Uh, you just, you know, it's 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 a form of cronyism on a large scale. We are very unbalanced. If you're a pharmaceutical company, you get away with murder. We're unbalanced True. here across the board of living or life or society. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the pharmaceutical industry definitely uh, is guilty of murder many times over, and they don't get in trouble. Oh, some of these drugs you see on TV, you know, and the uh, the voiceover yeah, artists, the greedy crooks, the side never go to jail. Marianne, and something like that. Yeah, uh, why yeah, Walls. Why are you letting this on the market? Right. Why are you allowing it why on the market? Crazy! Right? It's killing people. What if it doesn't kill them? It's maiming them, destroying them, changing them. Where was it? This drug is destroying their, their so-called right to quality of life. I, I don't get it. And I don't see an end coming no. soon. I do. Yeah. yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a... cycle continues. It's definitely a rigged system. It, uh, 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 money talks, the rich get away with murder, and uh, nobody from Goldman Sachs or Wall Street was ever arrested. But... but At any point, you said money talks. Well, my addition to that is why to say too many or so much of the wrong thing. Money talks for speaking the wrong language. Hey, they, they, they arrested you know? thousands and thousands of protesters for uh, the Occupy uh, for the Occupy movement, right? But nobody from Goldman Sachs was ever arrested or Wall Street. Yeah, you know, it goes back to the unbalance of uh, the legal system. Things aren't fair. Goes back to deregulation. It's not right to make people suffer, but they do it because. Going back to our constitution, all men are created equal. Well, most of not being created equal, are we? So, the gentlemen, we are out of time. Yes. And I think we've got a point. Remember where we can take it. We'll continue this next week. Yeah, well, you you bring up the topic and you have, you take the 20 minutes next week. I, it's yeah, all well, yours. Class from on here. There's a lot more to be said about this. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, hey, the, fa right, the the founding fathers. Be careful this weather if you go out. Be very careful. Yeah. Why am I the fucking MC uh, host? All right. Well, you know what? Uh, the founding father says all men are created equal except uh, uh, people of color and wa women. Except people of color and uh, uh, Indians and women. Yeah, all men are created equal. They have an exception. Yeah. yeah, there's a clause. Is it? It's just wrong. There's a this. All people should enjoy life. I mean, it's just wrong. Listen, gentlemen, have a good one. Yeah, all right, bye. Be careful of the weather, Dr. Bill. Yeah. James, yeah. we'll talk to you all later. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Hasta la vista. Bye. All right. Bye, buddy. Yeah, he just freaking rushes me off the goddamn... He rushes me off the phone, and, and, and I'm trying to do a closing statement. And then, then, and then when I'm trying to interact with him, he goes on and on and on and on you and persist, on. You persist in the interacting when it's because not. Working. He tells me he wants to, he wants interaction, and it's driving me nuts. He wants. Then he has to get the technology to do so. When as soon as this furnace goes on, I can't hear what he's saying. When it goes off, I hear him fine, but he just doesn't but pause. He doesn't hear you. But he's not pausing. He wants interaction, but he's not pausing to allow me to talk. So from now on, he's going to talk. I'm not going to say a word. Good. Classroom on the air, as Gary knows. I'm going to tell him that I'm trying to interject, all right, and be a, a co-host and, and direct the show, and he's not hearing me, right. and he's going on. And I'll, maybe it has to do with maybe like older men just like to interrupt. They don't shut their fucking mouths. I mean, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's his, it's his age, but I gotta tell him, man. I'm trying to interact. It cannot be a two-way uh, conversation to have him on the yes, show. Yes, sir. well, not with him. Now, now, because if, of the technology. But if he's with me in person, it's different. In the studio, it's no problem. He's sitting right next to me. You know, he can hear a pin drop. But in this situation, no. you know. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, he's just gonna have to have the 20 minutes to himself and talk and, and that's it.
because you want to discuss it later. Or you discuss it later. We'll discuss it later. It's I had the same. Uh, I had the same problem with uh, the guy in San Francisco, Dan E. Mount. Dan E. Mount. Another older gentleman. He just wouldn't come to a pause. He just wouldn't shut up. What was his technology? Well, he was. We were. We were on the show long distance via Skype, via webcam. Well, that should have been okay. But he heard me. He just didn't want to get. He just wanted to dominate ah, the friggin', dominate. Sh friggin' show. And meanwhile, I'm the host of the show. I'm supposed to direct it. So if I raise my voice like I'm doing now, then I'm accused of yelling at people. Yelling if I don't people. raise my voice, then I can't direct the show. It's, it's total chaos. It's not organized. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, people are the problem, folks. People create... It's over here. Yeah, I don't know. It, I don't even know how or why it fell. I don't see it. I do. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get it later. It's right to the right of these two well, bottles. Yeah, but we're on the air now. And, yeah, uh, okay. You know. Leave it there. It's to the right. All right. Between the chair and the two Fuck bottles. Fuck it. Hey! Fuck it. I'm going to waste my jism on that. It's a fork. I don't want to fuck around. I'll get it after the show. It's bad enough. But my is the cats great. wanted to go in and out. Oh, by the way, speaking of a cat, there's one there now, crying. Tough shit. Stop. Mr. Steve. Stop crying. He's there. I don't give a fuck. He's waiting. Just reach around. I gotta let him in, and it's gotta, it's gotta end up being on video. Well, that's nice. Come on. Good. All right, I gotta fix, and I gotta fix the flag. And fix the other goddamn flag. That's the number two mouser. Ah, uh, mouser, yeah, oh yeah. Hey, what do you want? Do they Romans, have, do they Romans have, to the, run wild here? Do they have a mouser interrupting on uh, MSNBC? Or, I don't think so. MSNBC? I mean, uh... Yeah, they have interruptions on Hey, MSNBC. I don't want to hear... Breaking news! I, Breaking I don't, news! I don't want any... You jabronis posting your remarks and criticisms under the show that we have to let the cat in and out and in and out and in and out. Why would that? Or be that we criticism? have a furnace going. I don't want to hear no criticism about that bullshit. Why would that be a criticism? This is life. When people make comments, people can make any comments they like. It bothers me. That's the problem. You see it? You're the problem, not them. Hey, you're the thin skin. What uh, have I told you? Duck back. The rain flows. It's not easy. It's not. Duck. It's not easy. Very easy. Very easy. You make these people in control maybe it's of a, your life. Maybe it's a Leo thing. You know, no, I, just, no, I just don't want to hear any bullshit. It's a control thing. It's a control thing. No, I don't you want to allow them control over you. That's what it is. Well, don't don't get am too analytical about oh. me on on the air. Ah. Well, then stop bitching about that stuff. Because it doesn't look right. To who? You. Because there's always somebody who has a, a, a snide remark. And there always will be. That's what you haven't learned? All well, the assholes out there. Thank you! And what are you doing? Are you changing them? Yeah, one guy, one guy says... Modifying them? One guy says, why aren't you in a, you know, state-of-the-art freaking studio? Because state-of-the-art studios cost a lot of money, and which means you have to get sponsors, and once you get sponsors, you don't have... If you're in a state-of-the-art studio, then you'll blast out Fox and MSNBC crap. Uh, what I was gonna content, content. What I was gonna content. say. What I was gonna say is our our freedom and us being uncensored will not be in existence if we had sponsors to pay for a state of the art studio. That's why. So why is that worth an answer? Because, because you want him to was, control your when life. When somebody dispenses shit, I get pissed. 
Exactly. That's work you have to do. Not them. The problem is with you. Again, you're saying the problem is will be, and we're on the air. Because don't get people can figure that out. They're not dumb. Fuck. You know now. I, now I got to edit this out. And you got to give me all extra no work. No, you don't. The problem. I don't want any. I want. Hey, I am the I am the co-host of of friggin' champions. Not when you allow other people control over you. Nobody controls me. They are. Their in, their input is what is better than yours. Well, how the fuck You're is our how the fuck is our show supposed to go viral? And, and, and make it big if, if if people are seeing little avoidable things throughout the show. What is avoidable? Image. Image is important, too. You just bitched about perception a while ago. Now you wish to be part yeah, but, of it. Yeah, but it's not perception. What is it? For letting a thousand and one goddamn cats in and out during a show. What does that have to do with somebody criticizing a, the show or you, but not the content? Come on, because, man. Because they should be looking... See look things the way they are. They should be looking at the content. Well, they're not. But they're not. And they're aggravating you. And they're doing their job. Aren't they? Now, back to the readings. Oh, yeah. God only knows what they'll be. Oh, we're going to discuss God here. The Vatican on Sunday publicly unveiled a handful of bone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Fragment. That was from the one you did. You forgot to read yes. last uh, Saturday. Purporting to belong to St. Peter. Reviving the scientific debate and tantalizing mystery over whether the relics found in the shoebox truly belong to the first pope. How can they prove it? First of all, Peter was not the first pope. The apostle Peter, that is. The first pope was Simon Magus. Remember? The name Simon is Peter. Padre. Petra. Simon. Pieta. Simon. Papa. Is synonymous Popey. with the word Peter. Yeah. The so same word. They name, when they named the cathedral after Peter, that they, were, they were referring to the Apostle Peter. That's right? correct. They referred to it, but it wasn't. Okay? They say that they, he was the cornerstone. But Simon Magus was the cause. So the Catholic Church did not get off to a positive start. That's correct. And they only went downhill after that. And not in the eyes of uh, Roman Catholics. Uh, what about in the eyes of 325 Emperor Constantine? Yeah, that's Changing true. the seventh day Sabbath to the first day of the week Sunday against God's will and law. So you you believe that that might have brought upon a curse, a curse that lasts until today? All is cursed, but you have to understand that Satan is allowed to do whatever he wants into certain areas, okay? So his church, he can do what he wants with it. Because now God uses it, like he uses everything else, as a stumbling block to test you, whether you are true or not. Uh, well, if you're smart enough to recognize their lies, you know, like... like uh, then you wouldn't be part of it. Like the Republican Party, Fox News, the Catholic Church. Uh, prosperity preachers, you know, right-wing fundamentalists, evangelicals uh, that talk about money all the time. Your Joel Osteens and uh, do not become part of the world. They're part of the world, so he's trying to see if you're part of the world or you're part or you're with him. Okay, gotcha. All is a test, my friend. But only tests for those who were called 
not the vast majority of humanity. So the, the vast majority of humanity, aside from the 144,000... Are not being saved now. It is not their time. That's correct. So all these evangelicals that feel if you're a so-called born-again Christian and you're gonna, your soul is going to get raptured up in the sky, this, this is just a man-made interpretation. Perception. Perception. They ought to read Revelation 22. Or, or misinterpretation. Or traditions that they hold. Like the tra like the false traditions of, of modern day Christmas and, and Easter, which came from the Catholic Church, and paganism, which which paganism. got got their tra their traditions and laws through paganism. Yeah. Yeah. You know the uh, you notice all over the world we have uh, tall buildings that are shaped like obelisks, like uh, representing Baal, the sun god. Can Superman bound over those? Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. The uh, the Freedom Tower in New York, the the tower in du Dubai, um, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the Washington Monument. They're all obelisks. modern day uh, phallic phallic symbols. symbols obelisks from, from the sun god Baal. Was that Babylon or or uh, it was all over the place? Or Zoroasterism? Ba Baal. Babylon. Zoroasterism is. The good against evil. That's in per that was in ancient Persia. The nine pieces of bone sat nestled like rings in a jewel box inside a bronze display case on the side of the altar during a mass commemorating the end of the Vatican's year-long celebration of the Christian faith. It was the first time they had ever been exhibited in public. Pope Francis prayed before the fragments at the start of Sunday's service and then clutched the case in his arms for several minutes after his homily. He had how many grits when this happened? No Pope has ever definitively declared the fragments to belong to the Apostle Peter. But Pope Paul VI in 1968 said, fragments found in the necropolis under St. Peter's Basilica were identified in a way that we can consider convincing. Some archaeologists dispute the finding. But last week, a top Vatican official, Archbishop Reno de Seychelles, said it almost did not matter whether archaeologists one day definitively determined that the bones weren't Peter's, saying Christians have prayed at Peter's tomb for two millennia and will continue to regardless. Mark 7 verses 7 through 9. Mm -hmm. They will not change. They will not repent. Okay? They will go on putting their traditions and their ideas and perceptions before God's. Well, because they have a, uh, an, uh, a wicked agenda. It suits their wicked agenda. It's not as if pilgrims who go to the altar of St. Peter's tomb think that in that moment in which they profess their faith that below them are the relics of Peter or of another or of another still, he told reporters. They go there to profess their faith. The relics were discovered during excavations begun under St. Peter's Basilica in the years after the 1939 death of Pope Pius XI, Pius. who had asked to be buried in the grottoes where dozens of popes are buried. According to the 2012 book, 
by veteran Vatican correspondent Bruno Bartoloni. The Ears of the Vatican. During the excavations, archaeologists discovered a funerary monument with a casket built in honor of Peter and an engraving in Greek that read Petros Eni. Peter is here! American and British intelligence operations have been spying on gamers across the world. Gamers? Really? Media outlets report it, saying that the world's most powerful espionage agencies sent undercover agents into virtual universes to monitor activity in online fantasy games such as World of Warcraft. Well, most games are violent today. What, what, what's what are, what are they trying to find? I mean, people... They are not trying to find anything! Have you not gotten the, me the message yet? They are spying on innocent Americans because they can! They're not looking for terrorists. Actually, uh, it's nobody's damn business what I do. Well, it is the NSA's. <clears throat> Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. You got the power to fuck them? I do what I want. I, doesn't stop as long as I don't break the law. That doesn't stop. Oh boy. I shall reiterate. Let them spy if they can. They, they are have, spying. They have, the, they have the technology to spy. On innocent Americans. Right. It has nothing to do with... I didn't break the law. That's what the Republicans say. Well... If I uh, have nothing to hide, hey! Is it going to st stop me from getting pissed off and disliking the system? <laughs> I no. hate, I'll be honest with you, uh, spies and bugging devices. I hate corporate CEOs and I hate conservatives and I hate conservative cap corporatism and capitalism. I think it, it does nothing for the masses. I, I think it, it does nothing to help the poor whatsoever. Yeah. It actually hurts the poor. Yeah. And it's all about greed and uh, I, I would love to put a chokehold on oh. every CEO in the world. But that doesn't work, does it? What do you mean it doesn't work? No, it's just because an opinion. what do they do to you? It's just an opinion, huh? What do they do to you? What do they do to Occupy Wall Street? CEOs? I don't know. The, the power. Let the power. The Occupy the people were made up of a bunch of... of You're of, blaming of, the Occupy of people. spineless hippies. You're blaming the Occupy people. Why did they stop? It wasn't them. Why did they stop? Spying! Why did they stop Occupy protesting? Why? Spying! Well, besides uh, uh, Mayor Bloomberg's... Everybody what? was neutralized. Uh, uh, yeah, arrested. They weren't all arrested. But they all can be at a moment's notice, etc. The power is the problem. The wrong people have the power. Okay? Well, you, you, you can't change the way people are going to feel about life. You know, I mean, whether you arrest them or not, I mean, you know, they're going to see you the don't truth. Have to change Somebody them. sees the truth, you know. Hitler didn't want to change anybody. Just wanted to get rid of them. That's all. The final solution. Huh? Mm -hmm. And if you have the power, you can do that. Occupy Wall Street did not have the power. They could have very so they're by by. They could have very easily had the power. Not in modern day America. Just as you cannot get the power back if, in modern day America. If you have mass numbers yeah. protesting in the in the tens or hundreds of thousands. Why do we have to protest? Alec doesn't protest. The lobbyists don't protest. 
to get what they want. But they have the U.S. media behind them to get their messages across and brainwash. I mean, they we have the power. I just told you before. They pay people they walk, off. They walk into the politician's office. They hand them a law written by Alec, and they give them a campaign contribution. Okay. And the law gets passed. Well, why does we, what? the people, no. allow and give so much power to the elected there you politicians go. in Washington? Because we didn't, we didn't participate in our government. Yeah, like so, it's no longer our government. Like there are people, and I, I noticed this on Facebook, there are people besides my friend Brian Slate who also say, "Oh, I hate politics. I'm, I, I don't get involved in anything political. Oh, I, I, I don't like it. I'm not, not into it." Mm -hmm. So, as people have that attitude. They don't get involved. That's correct. They don't care. And we lose power. And what happens? They don't vote. And we lose power. Right. And we have lost. We have been... A coup has taken place. The they, wealthy. They have lost, but uh, I don't think the fat uh, lady quite, quite sang yet. <clears throat> well, if, if you're... You're talking about if you're if you're saying that well, you know, progressives and mainstream people and low-income people should be like passive about the whole thing and not do anything about it. Yeah, who said that? They won. Who said that? They won. Who said that? You're you. I know you're playing devil's advocate. I know, but it sounds like you're you're saying. There's no hope, there's no answer, so just let it all happen. Just the let first, it all happen. The first part of that is correct, the second part is not. You, you can't it, do anything. Letting it all happen? Yeah. You can't do anything until you get the power to do it. And the only way you get the power is to change change the system, which means not voting, How do you change the system? Which means not voting for the two-party system. That's the only way I can think of. That's the only uh, non-violent way. Yes. Mandela well, changed the system in South Africa. Yes. Okay. Of course, he had suffered, didn't he? And in fact, uh, depending on the time, maybe I should hold this because I want to do something on Mandela. Being that he recently passed away, we should do the Mandela readings. I I, I, I want to do. I I want to make a truthful statement okay. about Mandela or Mandibo. Okay, let's let's progress. His middle name, loosely translated, means troublemaker. Nelson Ralahala Mandela was a petty thief, a pioneering lawyer, a political upstart, a guerrilla commander, and a terrorist to his foes, prisoner, and peacemaker who broke the chains of apartheid in South Africa and became its first black president. The world mourns his passing, but his extraordinary life will enrich the world's great moral debates on war and peace for generations to come. As reports of Mandela's declining health continued over the past few months, 
I began thinking of another great lesson Mandela taught me about tomatoes. My wife and I moved to South Africa in 1997. <coughs> Excuse me. Nelson Mandela was three years into his one and only five-year term as president. The country was taught with contradictory emotions, relief and uncertainty, reconciliation and resentment, suspicion and forgiveness. Our arrival was met with frequent expressions of incredulity. White people didn't move to South Africa. They were lining up to leave. We rented a modest house in the leafy northern suburbs of Johannesburg, surrounded by high stucco walls. When spring came, we filled the flower beds in the back garden with poppies, sweet peas, and roses. Sunlight baked that little garden outside my office window for hours each day. I daydreamed about rows of thriving vegetable plants. We doubted our landlords would let us dig up the lawn, even though they had left for Australia and would never return. Let it seem a shame not to do more with all that summer. That's when I read Nelson Mandela's autobiography, Long Walk to Free. Now, here's an interesting thought. When Mr. Mandela was doing his thing, his freedom fighting, our CIA and our government, of course it's not our government, but you know what I mean, the government, had him down as a terrorist. Yeah, well, they, they treated Robin Hood in a bad way too, and, and some of the pirates, buccaneers, were, they, they were just rebelling against uh, the king. The king uh, of either Spain or in, in, in England, the uh, like Robin Hood's in, in a ship. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they're going to have him uh, but such a categorized. <clears throat> and now, and now, four presidents went to Mandela's funeral. Such hypocrisy. Oh, yeah. You know, there's something yeah, they said something about G.W. Bush, Obama, yeah. H.W. Bush, you didn't see and you didn't hear about Carter. Carter was there too. Jimmy Carter. I thought it was great that Four they, presidents. they all went. Yes, it was great they went, but it's hypocrisy. We did not see the man as a freedom fighter, as a moral person, etc. Well, well, not the Republicans that went to his funeral. That's hypocrisy. They still feel it today. They just don't say it. We, getting back to the NSA spy, we don't know what a terrorist is. We don't know what an innocent person is. We lump them all together. 
We shake them around and let God soak them out. Like cattle. As I say, we don't know. We cannot assess that Occupy Wall Street were decent people. We can't do that. To our cops and all people in power, they were terrible. They sold out. The, 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 the cops, the, the National Guard, or anybody who harasses the Occupy protesters are basically company, corporate, suck-up, ass-kissers, that uh, are following the orders of the brass, of uh, their leaders, that are um, pretty much in bed uh, with the elitists uh, who are paying their salaries. The National Guard killed four young students at Kent State. Kent State. Back when. They also were called up many times in the past to kill union workers. Well, I hope the union workers start bringing firearms. Yeah. Or they would have all been dead. Yeah, how come nobody, nobody sniper rifles uh, a, a big corporate CEO. Right? You ever noticed that? Yeah, because probably those people that, that are getting beat are a little more moral than those CEOs. Maybe. You know? Well, they're, in the, they're definitely in the, the right. Maybe they're in the right and a little bit more moral. I mean, uh, moral. I mean, I, uh, uh, CEOs have a pretty bad reputation. Uh, I don't care what William Morrow has to say about corporate and CEOs, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, when the CEO does something that seems magnanimously uh, philanthropical, it's usually, I think, for tax purposes. Yes, there's always a chance. It's not out of the goodness of his heart. Like, uh, they were advertising this uh, rich CEO that kind of like took over and bought a Florida town, uh, 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 a ghetto, low-income Florida town, and it, it did so many positive things for the, uh, for the children in that Florida town, and, the, and everybody's saying, oh, wow, you see, this, this, is, this is capitalism at its best. See, see what this rich CEO is doing for this poor Florida town? I'm sure he's not doing it out of the goodness of his heart. There's a catch to it. He's doing it for a reason. And why is he the one to do the doing? Why can't those poor people <coughs> be in a position to be doing the doing? They don't have any options. And they don't have any money. Yeah. Okay, it all comes down to money. Follow the money trail. Right, or the Catholic Church, if, it's, if they're supposed to be so close to God and the Bible, then why do they ask for donations to feed the children? Why aren't they feeding the children since they are multi-multi-billionaires many times over? It's what I said before. If you give money to someone else, you make them richer. If they give money to you, they're making you richer. Perhaps they don't want to do that. They don't want to, the masses to to improve their standard of living and, and actually be happy. No. And, and, and live the so-called uh, American dream, the good life. Good life. Live high on the hog. Well, you don't even have to live high on the hog. No, just live. Just decent and content contentment and you know well like George Carlin says the American you have to be asleep to uh, experience the American dream because when you're awake it's American 
nightmare. Yeah, unless, <laughs> unless you're you're wealthy. Yeah. yeah so Mandela, um, uh, uh, Occupy protesters, people like this, the Robin Hoods of, of the world, whistleblowers, whistleblowers like Mr. Snowden. Uh, they're all demonized. Exactly. Uh, by the media, I never see anybody in the media coming forth and saying, hey, wait a minute, a whistleblower is really a hero. Uh -huh. No, you don't hear that. Yeah. But you heard it from the Guardian newspaper, which is in England. Not over here. Because over here, Mr. Snowden is a terrorist. And a traitor. Uh, did you get it? Did you ever get a chance to watch the movie V for Vendetta? About the uh, real life story of, a, of an Englishman who rebelled against the uh, elitist corporatist fat cats. This is something like it, 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 This sounds a little something like the truth. That's how this mask became popular. He wore this mask. And I like Zorro. With the Zorro hat. Oh, 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 yeah. And the cape. The black oh, yeah. And he had long black hair, and, uh, which might have been a wig. Anyway. Stories carried Monday by the uh, New York Times, The Guardian, and ProPublica said U.S. and U.K. spies have been have spent years crawling online games for terrorists or informants. The story is based on documents leaked by former National Security Agency contractor Edward Snowden for an unusual take on America's world space surveillance campaign, suggesting that even the fantasy world's popular with children, teens, and escapists of all ages aren't beyond the attention of the NSA and its British counterpart, GCH. universities like World of Warcraft are widely popular, drawing in millions of players who love months worth of real world time competing with other players for online glory, virtual treasure, and magical loot. And it's of Warcraft boasted some 12 million paying subscribers, more than the population of Greece. Other virtual worlds like Linden Labs, Second Life, or the various games hosted by Microsoft. Home to the popular science fiction theme shoot, shoot 'em up called Halo, host millions more. Spy agencies have long worried that such games serve as a good cover for terrorists or other evil. Who could use in-game messaging systems to swap information? In one of the documents cited on Monday, the NSA warned that the games could give intelligence to 
targets a place to hide in plain sight. Linden Labs and Microsoft did not immediately respond to messages seeking comment. In a statement, Blizzard Entertainment said it's unaware of any surveillance taking place. If it was, it would have been done without our knowledge or permission. Microsoft issued a similar statement saying it is not aware of any surveillance activity. If it has occurred as reported, it certainly wasn't done with our consent. The 82-page document published in the New York Times also noted that opponents could use video games to recruit other users or carry out virtual weapons training. Pointing to the September 11, 2001 hijackers as examples of terrorists who had used flight simulation software to hone their skills. Ronnie has one of those on his computer. Mm -hmm. Important details such as how the agency secured access to gamers' data, how many players' information was compromised, or whether Americans were swept up in the spying were not clear. The Times and ProPublica said, but the reports point to a determined effort to infiltrate a world many people associate with adolescents and shut-ins. At the request of the GCHQ, the NSA began extracting World of Warcraft data from its global intelligence hall, trying to tie specific accounts and characters to Islamic extremism and arms dealing. Intelligence on the fantasy world could eventually translate to real-world espionage success, one of the documents suggested, noting that World of Warcraft subscribers included telecom engineers, embassy drivers, scientists, and military and other intelligence agencies. World of Warcraft wasn't the only target. Another memo noted that GCHQ had successfully been able to get the discussions between different game players on Xbox Live. Meanwhile, so many U.S. spies were roaming around Second Life that a special de-confliction unit was set up to prevent them from stepping on each other's toes. In another development, a coalition, including Google, Apple, Yahoo, Facebook, and Microsoft lashed out in an open letter printed Monday in major newspapers and a new website, ReformGovernmentSurveillance.com. Better take that home with you so you can get on there. I'll spy on you. 
the Crusade united eight companies that often compete fiercely against each other, but now find themselves banding together to limit the potential damage from revelations about the National Security Agency snooping on web surfers. Twitter Inc. LinkedIn Corp. And AOL Inc. Join Google Inc. Apple Inc. Yahoo Inc. Facebook Inc. And Microsoft Corporation in the push for tighter controls over electronic espionage. Members of the group are immersed in the lives of just about everyone who uses the internet. Big Brother is here! Nah. Big Brother? What is there something like yeah, it's got the reformgovernment.com website there. Okay. And, um... Don't you want to get on there so you can put in your two cents? And maybe the NSA will just quietly go away. If it sees that we're mad at it. <laughs> we're mad and we're not going to take it anymore. Well, see, that's the whole thing. People need to get involved in in their society, in their in their government. They need, they need to flood their congressmen and senators' office with with massive amounts of yeah, but letters. How do you get people involved in their government when they have been taught for forty some years? that the government is the problem. Yeah, brainwashed into doing it. I mean, when, when I, I wrote um, Senator Robert Menendez, Menendez, and I never got a, a personal reply. You usually don't get a personal reply. You just get a letter back, though. You get a letter saying, thank you for thank your... Thank you for your, yes. Your general... A generated letter. That, That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, he doesn't have the time to personally deal with you. What's the matter with you? And besides, do you have a political contribution for him? He might open the door for you then and allow you to sit at his desk, <laughs> even. May exchange a couple of words with you, even. This reminds me of um, these uh, celebrities or a athletics um, people in the spotlight, and, you know, professional athletes, and and whatever, even like models, or whatever, actresses, actors. They have these Facebook pages, but they nine times out of ten they never really interact with their fans they never really um communicate with them or reply but all they seem to do with their pages online is to promote themselves and try to sell their uh let's say autograph photos or their whatever DVDs that they put out, whatever. They're, they're, it's there for monetary gain, not to answer questions and just interact with the people that look up to them. Besides, they have a PA to do that stuff, a personal assistant. They so, do so they don't bother communicating with anybody from from the, the, the normal world or whatever. In other words, this is why they only hang out with other people from the entertainment industry or people in, involved in professional athletics. It's, it's like a click. 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 Yeah. Well, you know, 
it's almost like they think they're better than everybody because they're in the spotlight. Well, they are. They are elites. Well, they're well, they they're, are they're famous and sometimes yeah. rich and famous. Correct. So they are elites and they are better. Or just well, you're saying and you're they say, did it all, all themselves. You're saying they are better. Oh no, no, they got plenty of breaks. No, no, no. You're, you're oh, saying they are friends. better because it, it, that might be their perception they are better. That they are better. What makes them better just because uh, they're in a position uh, nothing in, in makes part them of a better. camera? And this goes back to what I've been trying to tell you about the, con the, the criticisms. Nothing makes them better unless you buy into their perception. Yeah, people yeah. give them the power. The reason why you hear so much about the... Hold on. Hold on. The reason why you hear so much about the Kardashians or, or a Miley Cyrus or Justin Bieber is because people give them this power. Well, you know, I mean, I'm just using that as an example. Like, you know, uh, these stupid Asenheim programs, like, what is it, Entertainment Tonight, the Hollywood Gossip Shows, E, e uh, 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 maybe TMZ, they, they, they go into every detail of a, of a celebrity's life. They follow them, paparazzi. These big selling magazines like People, Tiger, Tiger I mean, Beat, and, uh, people, and these teen things. People with no life actually care every what they what a, what a celebrity does to their personal life. They care who dates who, who's marrying who, who's well, divorcing you know, who, who's breaking up with who. Even it was Hustler, right? Hustler, yeah, Hustler, did things like if a celebrity's tits fell out of her blouse or something, this was news. This, this is what people wanted to see. They accidentally, the nipple slipped. Yeah, you see a little nipple of Farrah Fawcett or something? Well, no, that oh, happened yeah. to uh, Janet Jackson during the Super Bowl. Ah, but that was nothing. I'm Prime, talking about yeah. actual flesh. Flesh. But people want this stuff. They like it. They'd like to be able to see the celebrity take a crap. <laughs> or stick a uh, tampon up or something. You know, this is oh, this is what they want. That'll sell quite a bit. <laughs> if an attractive star did that, and if somebody had a camera on it. Exactly. But, uh, you know, it's the people who give them the power power that they have. Same thing with politics and everything else. I remember the time when SUV vehicles, SUVs became the fad. They became popular and people were bitching and moaning that they were price gouging them and they were super expensive. Well, why do you have to buy one? Why? Because everybody else is doing People don't boycott, so, so therefore, if you give into it, the, the, the fault is within you because you're giving into it. That's what you're saying. Right? I think the, uh, the forerunner of the SUV was the minivan, right? Yeah, the minivan. Yeah, but that and the minivan was invented by Christ to replace. The station wagon. Station wagon, which was not cool. Cool people did not drive a, a minivan or a station wagon. These were... Minivan was family. These were for kids. Families, yeah. And uh, the SUV, off-road, baby. The SUV is a combination uh, of family minivan kind of vehicle with a sport. With the 4x4, four four, with a Jeep, yeah. With, with, Jeep! 
Well, Jeeps were Jeeps are cool, so they combined the two. Yeah, but the point is that it is people who give them the fame and fortune. It is people who who uh, who, be, who are the suckers of a scam or a racket. Uh, if people, if only people boycotted and learned to say no and stop watching these idiotic programs, you know, I mean, and concentrate on a life. Concentrate on a life. Concentrate on real issues, real problems. But, you know, I told well, this people one... People can't do that if they just want to party. Yeah, they just want to feel good. Hey, it's the same thing with, with uh, churches and pastors. They have these feel-good Pastors and evangelists that are into the feel good message. Once upon a time. Like Joel Olsen. Herbert W. Armstrong. Yeah. He met this couple. And the couple wow. were suffering some physical maladies and etc. And uh, he promised to pray for them and try to help them. Right. Etc. etc. And. <coughs> They used to go to a, uh, 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 the church with the uh, tongues and everything. Valley call. Oh, uh, those nuts! Um, uh, uh, not evangelical. Uh, no. Charismatic. No. Uh, no. They spoke. They 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 spoke gibberish. They spoke in tongues. Well, I'm not doing it for the tongue part of it. They they. they Well, they were here. They weren't hearing the truth that's in the Bible. They were that's hearing, not why they went. They were hearing uh, positive things that made them feel. That's my point. Good. So he he had come across the fact that uh, well, they shouldn't go there if they want to seek the real truth and etc. what these prosperity preachers and etc. do. And these yeah. yelling and screaming preachers right. yeah. up there. Peter Popoff and you know he's always laying his hands on somebody and they're passing out and, and they're throwing their crutches away. I'm cured. I'm not crippled anymore. Look at me. And they start dancing around. Prove it. Well I know that was staged. Of course. Person passes out. It goes, goes back to Elmer Gantry. It goes back to uh, what you call it. They all did that. Father Divine. Yeah, they, they threw their crutches away. Start, started doing a jig in church. An Irish jig. Oh, they were. They were. Oh, it was funny as hell. Yeah, he has like black shoe polish hair, slicked back, and no neck. Peter Pop. Very Whatever. funny, very funny character. Very, very comical. It's and just like that saying uh, also that the, uh, uh, How can you be religious? You don't go to church. Oh, you have to be in a building. Uh, so, 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 if being a, a Christian is following the Bible, the word following of God, Jesus, following Jesus. If it's all based on what's inside the Bible, why does a building with fancy stained glass, why does that have to define your Christianity? It didn't. Jesus, the early churches were met in people's houses. Right, like Bible study groups. Right. Actually, that that was the early uh, uh, Christian church. It was like a Bible study. It was only the Roman Catholic Church who became a great federated 
building. Immense and glorious. You see their stained glass windows. Yeah. Well, do you believe uh, organized religion is meant to pacify and control the masses, and it's for weak-minded people, like Jesse Ventura says? Uh, it is. And they My don't. My father pay. said the same thing. And that's why they don't pay taxes. They, have a they don't pay taxes because uh, when they tax exempt rules went into effect, we actually believe that they do good work. So we give them an exemption. Oh, really? Yeah. We believe that. That's what that's Just like about. people believe that the, the March of Dimes and the United Way does good work too. Meanwhile, the CEO is sucking up hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, per year. We also believe that the wealthy do good uh, deeds, so we shouldn't tax them. Like the philanthropists. Okay. The philanthropists... They provide jobs. Oh, really? Do they? Yeah, in Bangladesh, China... <coughs> Oh, oh my God! Uh, yeah, they provide it, right? Provide they provide their own bank account and yeah. pockets with an inf in inflating monetary gain. We're in five years. Um, a jobless recovery. Wall Street is doing well. The Dow Jones is doing well. Job We're not taxing the rich. Job creation is up according to the mainstream and media. Job creation is crap. It's all lies. Yeah. So we've been doing this experiment for how long? Why not taxing the rich? Some thirty some years. It hasn't worked. What is it? What's that saying? That if you continue to do the same thing, it's called insanity, uh, and uh, and expect a different result, it's insanity. You know, like banging your head against the wall. Yeah, if you, you, know? if, you, if you expect a different different result from doing the same exact thing over and over. Of insanity. So when do we stop? When do we stop? The insanity. Yeah, it was and Reagan. At history. It was Reagan that shifted that tax burden. To the, to oh, Reagan, the god. The god. Yes, he was the god. Did you not read the news? A question of freedom. The new newsletter article! Question of freedom. The news, new, new newsletter is out. That's right. Yeah, there's some big, good truths about Reagan in there. How about that Christmas slide with that new banner in the slideshow? Christmas looking banner. I saw that the other Christmas night. Christmas slide. I heard it. Yeah. Because I had a tinker to do the uh, thing I had to with the volume, and I was pleased that the volume came out good. Well, when you record something from a digital uh, computer program, recording the uh, pro recording program, I, I try to go for a fifty percent volume. Uh, I, Where I got it now yeah, is pretty good. Percent recording volume and even listening volume on a speaker. I, 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 I ten, it tends to be not as noisy. And of course, I, I select noise and echo reduction mm -hmm. if I possibly can. Mm -hmm. 
And this is what people have to do when they're on my show on Mega Life 21 Live. If they're if they're going to be on the show via webcam through live stream, live stream, they need to adjust their volume so the recording doesn't come out echoey. You know. But anyway, thank you for joining us for this week's progressive discussions. We'll see you next time, people. Say, oh wow, it's getting dark. Into the store. I got here in the daylight, in the broad daylight, and yeah, I'm leaving. Get the parking space? Huh? You to get the parking space? Uh, when you go home. Yeah, 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 I do because I have a special spot. All right. Just like when I come here, I try to get right smack in front of the door. They call that the VIP parking space, brother. Yeah. Say so long. So long, people. Oh, uh, actually, for Sunday, I usually park across the street for the uh, alternate side parking because the town that we live in, yeah, Monday, has a habit of ticketing you even if there's snow on the ground and there's no street cleaner that comes by. Uh, does that sound like a racket to you by local politicians? Not fair at all. If the street cleaner is not coming by because of snow on the ground, why on earth must you get ticketed? And we all know cronyism and nepotism is big in local politics, especially especially here in northeastern New Jersey. Yeah, to increase revenue, it's like giving cops a quota to go out there and ticket people. Uh, the the street cleaner can't come down the street because there's snow on the ground. Therefore, there's no street cleaner. Then why ticket somebody? Uh, that is blocking the, the street cleaner. Okay, that that's the law we have. So no. Cops says that's the law we have. It's evil. The human human nature is so never changed. It's always the same. Comment as you, you see, see fit. fit. That's Lionel.